There is no such thing as enough film festivals for a city. And here we go, just ahead of our international film festival, the Manchester Indie Filmmakers Group have had their own very first showcase of brilliant shorts at the Central Library. It's an indie film group and we found out that people who were coming to the group wanted to uh, write, they wanted to act, they wanted to make films. So why not combine the whole thing together? This is our first filming uh, festival. Uh, it's gone extremely well this evening. We've had a very good audience and great films. So we had over 1,100 entries and that meant we had entries coming in nearly eight to nine minutes. So we had to stop almost halfway through the submission process because we knew we couldn't get through them all in time. But what we looked for originally was originality, you know, inspiration. We see so many familiar stories, familiar scenarios, but all the films we've shown today really had a bit of sparkle and a bit of wow factor to them. Well, we actually started our film festival about three months ago, but most of them run for around about 12 months before they actually screen. So we've only had a really short time. Watch out. This is how you start your own film festival. Well, we've used a system called Freeway, and that accepts film submissions, anybody who wants to start a film festival. But we've had a great venue tonight in the beautiful Art Deco Library. It's a beautiful library, and we're very lucky to have that space. But, as I said, anyone can start festivals. It's all about the spirit being uh, creative, imaginative and, of course, indie. They handed over awards in eight categories, from documentary to drama and animation. But here is the problem with having films from all around the world. Only a few winners could actually turn up. One of them was Aaron Dunleavy, whose film Throw Me to the Dogs fetched the Best Actor award. The jury rewarded University of Arts London student Louis Bradshaw's poignant performance in this short film about bullies, anger and isolation. What is that? Hey, what could So it was um, sort of loosely based on my childhood and, and my upbringing and stuff. Um, and the script, the basic scripts that we started off with was written by me and Joe, the other director. And then... Um, we talked to Pete and Jack as well who were in it and sort of brought their input into it as well. Um, but like I say, most of the film was improvised, so we set up situations that some of the young actors, they didn't know what was going to happen in the scene. I mean, it's like where you see the dad running out after the window's been smashed and the dad runs through the back garden into the alleyway. The lads that were running down the back alley, they wasn't aware that, you know, that, you were that I was going to jump out on him and, and that, so that you got that shock factor in their face as the first well. Step, wasn't it? Yeah. That, yeah. The Indie Filmmakers Film Festival is coming back next year. And who knows, there might be a red carpet too. Adam Farkash, that's interesting.